Okay, so good morning everyone. This is our class of today. We will teach you the metric system. So well, I hope you like it. Yeah, first of all, um, how are you? How are you this Sunday? Um, I would like you to come on. How are you buying your product? Okay, okay. Sleeping, no? Do you have any question for? No? Okay, great. Uh, so first, you see these the board. Uh, do you know what they are? Do you understand them? Can you kind of guess where we are going? You already said it. Okay, these, these as you can see, are units of measurement using used in the metric system. They have liters, kilograms, uh, ounces. Do you know what an ounce is? Everyone? Okay, great. And where have you seen these words? I mean, where in your life, I mean, in your general life, ounces, seconds, centimeters, where have you seen these these words? Food. 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 Okay. okay. Where have you seen your food? What kind of words from this? Uh, liters, kilograms, uh -huh. grams. 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 Yeah. So may mainly when you go like, to the supermarket to shop, you will go and see this. Also, for example, in a calendar, you will see like the months as well. Yeah. Have you seen this one? The great selfie? Yeah. Of course, where? Uh -huh. Okay, yards. Have you seen them? Yeah. Where, where do you think they use yards? Uh -huh. For distances. For distances. For distances. They are not used in all the world, they are actually used in America, in the world, in the United States only. That's very curious, they are the only ones to use. Mm. So, let's try first to categorize all these words by what they measure, right? So, for instance, what do leaders measure? Mm. Liquids. Okay, liquids. So what is like the, the name of the of the unit? Of like the, 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 the concept? Volume? It's volume, you remember? From school. Volume. Ah, <laughs> 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 no, don't worry, don't worry. It's been like, what, two years in school? So, yeah, we have the volume here. So let's put it here. Next, we have feet. Where feet? In a unit measurement, of course. What do they measure? Distance. Distance, okay. Distance. For example, a little bit. Next, kilograms. What do they measure? Weight. Weight, Weight. Weight. very good. Weight. Weight. Any other unit of measurement for any of these categories? 
Do you, do you have any idea who is coming here and writing the board? Millimeters, of course. Where have you seen millimeters? The ruler. In drinks, okay. Well, in drinks, you may have seen milliliters. Yeah. Uh, you know? Yeah. yeah. So we can write it as well. Milliliters. In time, you can write minutes as well. Minutes is a other for chemistry, for instance. Um, For instance, this is a measuring cake or measure cake. Do you have one at home? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. And as you can see, I'm going to do this. Okay. Here you have centimeters, and these are, and these other side of the, of the cake measures inches. Inches, okay. And actually, here it says 25 feet. So this measuring cake is 25 feet long. What is this? Do you know what they are called? This is a scale. Yeah, this is a scale. Right here, scale. Or have you seen one of these? What is this? This is a bottle of Coke. And here you can see milliliters. What is this? It's a monster. It's a monster. It measures? Okay. What does it say here? So it's 98 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. This is a clock, right? It measures. Okay. Here we have a chart, like of the most important um, items. So I will give it to you, so you can have your hand. So we can make like a, a big review of the basic measurement units. So first of all, we have uh, they're divided like in four big sections. So we have length, capacity and volume, mass and weight, and time. So the most important thing in here is that we have a division as well between metric and customary system. For today, we'll focus on the metric system, but as, you, uh, but as you can see, there are like a lot of different ways of measuring things. So, uh, in the first stage, we have length, and the metric system says that one kilometer is equivalent to a thousand meters. One meter is equivalent to 100 centimeters, and one centimeter is equivalent to 10 millimeters. In the second uh, stage, we have capacity and volume. We have that one liter is equivalent to a thousand milliliters. So as you can see, we have a relation between kilometer and liter. You know, they have like the same structure, and they will always be like a thousand of them. In mass and weight, we have now kilogram and gram. So one kilogram is the same. It's equivalent to a thousand grams, and one gram is equivalent to a thousand milligrams. So we have time, in time we don't have like this division, we just have like, as you, uh, as you can know, one year is equal to 365 days, uh, one year is equal to 12 months, one year is equal to 52 weeks, one week is equal to 7 days, and one day is equal to 24 hours, and so on and so forth. So uh, with this information, please keep it in there, uh, and right now, what we are going to do is to emphasize your reading and writing skills. So I will pick you another piece of paper. So with this information, you will fill the next chart. Yeah, see here. So uh, and we can see how they are doing. Yes. Oh, it's the opposite. Okay. So, while I 
to change it, please, uh, solve it. We'll give you like a couple minutes and then we'll come back. Is everything okay? Yeah. How are you doing, guys? Okay, guys, so uh, let's uh, try to finish it here. We'll socialize the activity. So if you are not ready, don't worry. We'll try like, to figure out the correct answers like, among all of us. So I will ask someone to please help me reading number one. Can you help me reading number one, please? Um, my house is 15 kilometers from school. Very good. Okay, so, first one is kilometers. <laughs> so, uh, as I don't know you guys, can you please pick someone to read number two? Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Um, can you read number two, please? Uh, it is 2 degrees Celsius in London, while it is 40 degrees Fahrenheit in San Francisco. Yeah, in that one that is kind of tricky because we all know that those are two um, temperature measurement units. So both are correct if you put it like on the opposite, it's right, yeah? Mm -hmm. But like, what is the key thing here? The key thing is that Fahrenheit is almost used in Fahrenheit is almost used in the U.S. Yeah, mm. Celsius means like a more uh, global, like global measurement unit. So we can say it like that: San Francisco, it will go with Celsius. And Fahrenheit will go with London. Yeah. So it's kind of tricky, but we'll figure out by context. So can you pick someone else? Daniel. What? Three. Number three. Number three. Um, the butcher sold a uh, five. Of yeah, you're okay, you need, you need yeah. And can you choose someone for number four, please? Um, and <laughs> and drinks one liter of lemonade after a few minutes. There it is. So, that's a measurement of both. Um, Alejandro, can you choose someone else, please? Marianne. Yeah. Okay, don't worry. So in that one, let's try to figure out a measurement unit of the metric system, yeah? So let's So we can say that uh, the palm tree is two meters taller than the shop. So this was like our first activity, so you can like start to figure out what are the different measurement units. And now it's going to be, so I think that is more, much more easier. I will do it in couple. Yeah. So it's great. Oh hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if you have any questions, just, just ask them. <laughs>
sad in corn syrup mm -hmm. and chocolate. Okay. What what kinds of um, units of measurement you could you could get from the video? Only some grams or what else? Well, these units are not um, units of measurement, um, but he he always use like add uh, two teaspoons or x grams. So that's that what we are focusing now. Like these are specifically units of measurement. Uh, so that's I mean those are different concepts, but yes, yeah, they are used in recipes. But um, what other other units do you get? Ounces? Did you get ounces in the video? Yes. Yes. Okay. So there were ounces of what? I know it was like a Okay. Any any other unit for for temperature? We saw Fahrenheit, right? For time. What do you get in terms of time? Okay. Great. So I think that's that's all for this activity. Next, do you like cooking? Have you cooked before? I hope so. No? Are you, are you good at it? No? Okay. Who, who likes? Who likes to cook? Can you raise your hand if you like to cook? I like to cook. Okay. Have you, have you followed a recipe before? Yes. Yes? Everyone? Okay. So let's go to the next activity, which is the feeding. We are going to use one piece of paper from this deck. So take this one. Here we go to the next person. Okay, what did you get? A flower. A flower, okay. <laughs> okay guys, everyone. Everyone likes me. Help me. Okay. So there's gonna be two piles of pieces of paper. Pieces of paper. On one side you're gonna have quantities or amounts, specifically numbers, and in this one, you're going to find units of measurement, right? So which one of you has an ingredient or an element in the kitchen, and you're going to come and choose one of these papers, one of these. For instance, if I get, uh, I don't know, flour, then I'm going to get here and say, okay, 12. 12 something of flour? No, it's, it's just too little, maybe 200, okay, 200 is better for flour. Okay, 200 watt of flour, for instance, 200 watt of flour, what feeds flour? Grams, okay, so we have 200 grams of flour. And I'll say, I'm gonna make up uh, an instruction, as if, as if it were a recipe, so I'm gonna say, add 200 grams of flour, you know? So that's what each one of you is gonna do. Uh, so, um, start from the back of the, of the platter on the top here with your paper. And one, and one. Oh, okay. Let me Oh, let me see. Oh, okay. So, let's see. 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 Okay, uh, what did you, what did you feel? Uh, 800 grams of ground meat. Okay, so create a, a little instruction as if you were a recipe, whatever you want. Can I use another ingredient? Or is no, the ingredient you got. It not like mixed with other... Oh food. yeah, of course. Yeah. Mix um, 800 grams of ground meat with two eggs. Okay, okay, great. Um, mix, okay, so it would be mix. Kilograms for strawberries. Okay, well done. Next one. So, uh, so, uh, one pound of lentils for one egg. Yeah, or overnight, yeah. Overnight. Okay, well done. If you have cinnamon powder, what kind of, what would you like to measure? Of cinnamon color. <laughs> wait, okay. What 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 you need to wait do you have to Okay, I'll Okay, so bring your 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 instruction. 
And we see flower where the flower. Flower? Flower. Okay, great. Go to work with the last one. Okay, let's go for the last one. What is the instruction you're going to give? Like to the ten milligrams of black pepper, like today, five dollars. Okay. Okay. So that was it. I think you could get the activity very well. Do you do you have any questions related to this? Is everything clear up to this point? Is everything clear? You already know like the measurement units and everything, right? So yeah, you, you could see that not all numbers fit a specific ingredient and not all units. Uh, are suitable for that for that specific work. So try to make uh, these kinds of exercises with your own papers, maybe at home later. Uh, so to to practice a little bit more, and let's continue. Okay. So we'll go now to our creation stage. So uh, we'll try to make it like really fun. I hope you enjoy. I need five people, five volunteers. Super easy. What do we have? To so we'll ask it to, we'll go and pretend that this is a market. Yeah, we'll share some. Yeah. So you want me to choose you, <laughs> or you want to choose yourself? Okay. One. We have two volunteers. Someone else? Yeah. Three. Okay. Okay. Well, I know that you. I know that you want to participate. Let me share. Have three. Okay. And you two. Okay. Guys, <laughs> you of you, you of course want to participate, yeah. right? I knew that you want. So, what do, what do you want to do? You will be in charge of the five stations that we have. So, as you can see, we have furniture, drinks, clothing, fruits, and bakery. So, please stand up and go in front of your station. Okay, guys. So, right now, that your partners are uh, in their stations. So I want you that all of you will be the customers, right? So we'll divide them. We'll divide you in five groups. Yeah, the, the rest of the the people. So I will name you in group of five. Okay. So you'll be one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One and two. Okay. So, okay. please stand up and go to your group. One. So, who, who, are, who are number one? Who is number one? So, do you ready to be a game in the last day? So, there's join one group. Yeah? Oh, one group. Yeah. No, 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 no. One group. One each group. Yeah, I don't know. And each letter is going to be in one of the groups. Yeah. Well, thank you. You should have five items. Which one do you have? Okay, so as you can see, behind that image, we have a brief description. Yeah, we have the weight of that uh, object, and we have the price, yeah? So what we want you to do right now is please, uh, one person, you can do it like all of you, please write a short paragraph of like your day selling your things, yeah? So for example, I can say like, oh, today, currently class and me, we went to the shop, to the market, and we were looking for a soda, we were looking for a t-shirt, and we were looking for a bread, a piece of bread, yeah? So uh, the shirt was 500 grams, the Coke was a kilogram, and everything costs at the end uh, 50 bucks. Yeah, so please write the paragraph among all of you, and we'll socialize. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, so let's go.
Dear Diary, today it was a good day. I went to the market and bought uh, 150 grams mango, a glass of orange juice, and 80 gram croissant that I was hoping to eat at home, but it seemed delicious and I couldn't help but eating it before. I also bought a 50 kilogram bullion bookshelf and a pair of shoes. It all cost 74 bucks. Now that I think about it, it was very expensive. I think I will not eat for a week. <laughs> Always yours, Chris. Very good. Uh, okay. But yeah, well, very well done. Here's it. Was very good. Oh, are you, you having it already? Yeah. So can you read it, please? Yeah. <coughs> 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 In our shopping day, we needed to buy many things, so we went to a mall and we bought a red jacket. And we needed a closet for that jacket. And we bought one. <laughs> and we got hungry, so we decided to buy some food. First, we bought a <laughs> thin chocolate. The chocolate and chip cookies. Then we bought an orange. And lastly, we wanted to get brown. <laughs> so we bought a. Uh, so we bought an uh, upper. A little of herbs. Okay. Okay, maybe you missed a little bit of the, of the units of measurement, but it's still. Actually, we did it, but I didn't read it. Okay. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. So next time, can you go with your, with your partner, please? And now, just for finishing our lesson, we'll have like this little wrap up. So, I want you guys, please, can you pick one here? Yeah. One little piece of paper. And can you read aloud what it says? Find an object one centimeter in the end. So, can you find something in the class that is one centimeter in class? Yeah. But uh, it was nice. Okay, thank you. 
And yeah, I mean, many times we, we see these kinds of words, like kilograms, grams, and we are never conscious about them, but now maybe we are going to pay a little bit more attention to them and, and yeah, be more aware of them. Uh, so anyone else wants to share their opinion, their experiences, what they felt like during these two hours? Oh, I uh, it was very interesting because that's a topic that we don't see very often, often. and we use very often. So, so it was interesting. I, I like the activities. It was uh, fun. So, what? Um, Bye. I think, I think we are done. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'm gonna head, head out. I mean, I think we are done. Um, I don't know. You are you are soon going to, 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 to suffer, well, no, not suffer, but to live the same experiences as um, having this first experiences of teaching to, to a group, maybe to kids or maybe to, 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 to young people like you.